Hey, what's up everyone? Wiki here. This is my new YouTube channel that I'm just starting out, my very first video. I am an eBay reseller. Uh, I do it part-time. I do have a full-time job. And I also run an antique booth that we just started a little over a month ago. So I thought I would start up a YouTube channel, just kind of take you along for my journey. All right, so today, this very first video, we are going to go through some stuff that we bought at some yard sales as well as an estate sale and then tomorrow i plan on taking you guys out to where our booth is showing you around showing you the stuff that we're selling out there uh i just thought i'd do this for a little bit of fun if anybody's interested go ahead and like maybe comment subscribe i'd love to hear from you guys if you have any feedback because it is my first video of course if you follow me on instagram then I mean, you already know who I am and what I do and what I sell. But I got some interesting stuff to show you guys today, so I'm really hoping that you like what I got. And if so, I'm, I'm gonna continue to do this. All right, so here we go. Let's go on this journey. All right, so I'll start off by showing you what we did pick up this morning while garage sailing, at least some of it. So first thing I got, I spent $20 total on this shelving that I am running out of room upstairs so I'm about to get a storage unit and those are going to go in there now next is this is a personal pickup a horseshoe pit uh, my wife wanted that she wants me to build a horseshoe pit so we can play this was at an estate sale uh, Ezra Brooks canister it's also a music box. You wind the dog and then he spins around and plays music. It's really cool. I haven't looked it up or anything. This is another personal purchase. This is actually done by the lady said her daughter painted this and this is a print. So we are gonna frame this. Isn't that awesome? Very, very lifelike. So we're gonna frame that and I'm going to hang that up in the man cave. Next, we got this old, kind of beat up, wakeboard, boogie board, whatever you want to call it. Uh, kind of beat up, but still really good. Definitely old. Think I'm gonna put this in the booth. Only paid $2 for it. And I'll probably put it in the booth for 25 bucks. All right, next is something for the antique booth. I can get it turned around correctly. This is a print, so it's, it's a repo, but still, definitely old. Bull Durham tobacco poster, so I think this will do pretty good. That's what we got here. Let me go around to the other side. Now over here, got a couple more pieces from the same estate sale that we picked up the poster from and the dog. This is a Fire King relish tray. I'm gonna clean that up pretty good. Seen them sell for around 15, 20 on eBay. Uh, and this is also Fire King. This is a egg plate. So I'll get that cleaned up as well. Now here's something that Wiki Wife found that she just thought was awesome. These colorful circular torture puzzles perfect for time killer for puzzle feeds and they've never been used i have to look look these up see what they're actually worth yeah they're just puzzles with crazy cuts it's really cool ones don't know nothing about them i'll look them up and uh if they're not worth anything then wiki wife will keep them now this here is a gas, bring it out here, gas ceramic heater. It's got these ceramic panels in it right here. Uh, really neat piece. This is going to go in my booth. I couldn't find anything like it on eBay. I'm going to do some more research though, see if I can find something. Hearth Glow is the name. It's got a model number and everything on it. Uh, Jax Evans Manufacturing in St. Louis, Missouri. I think this is going to go good. But 
yeah we'll see so that's everything i got today while sailing minus one more thing that i'm going to show you upstairs that was definitely the find of the day great purchase all right so stay tuned for that all right so there was an auction last night online for a, a local place i won one lot so we're gonna go over there now pick it up got the bubs with me say what's up bubs what's up i'm loud yeah so we're gonna go get this uh i want to say i paid 27.50 for it there's it's like a small table lot where they just put a whole bunch of stuff together uh, what i'm really interested in is they have this vintage uh power rangers jason plush still in the box so i'm gonna hope that it's in good shape and then the rest of the smalls i'll, I'll go through it and figure it out look like there were some christmas decorations stuff like that maybe some other stuff that can go in the booth or it's actually worth putting on ebay but that's what we're gonna do yep and bubs is gonna help me carry it all out all right, so yeah, this will be the last thing we do today. I'll show you what I get from this auction haul. And if anything good comes out of it, I will definitely show you some uh All right, prices. so we're on our way back home. We just picked up everything that we got at the auction. How do you think we did, Bubs? I think we did good. A lot of glassware, uh, stuff for the booth. Some other cool pieces that I'll, I'll show you later that I'll probably put in the booth. Like there's a birdhouse that's made to look like a uh, golf club like the actual you go to the club to play golf so that's pretty neat i'll definitely put that in the booth this is the main thing right i looked this up it goes for around i think 40 dollars on ebay it's never been out of the package so 1993 green ranger tommy did you know that uh no you didn't know tommy was a green ranger no, I didn't. Okay. It's dusty. But I'll just kind of give you a peek back there with the camera. Well, I got to clean it all off. But... Well, it's black now. What else did we get? Got um, some Christmas ornaments, uh, Hallmark keepsakes, Barbies. Little number there. What's all over there? You can't even see in there, can you? Yeah, I can. I just put this in. Okay. Yeah, a lot of glassware. Which is fine, glassware is good. We got some of that down there. Yep, we got some stuff down there. Glass bells, a couple other things. Yeah, it's not we pointed at me. Some glass bells and candle holders, stuff like that. So, yeah, I think we'll do all right with it. Uh, I'm going to get this stuff home, get it unpacked, start cleaning it up, and then we'll continue the video. All right. All right, so now I'm going to show you guys the big haul that I got today. I uh, hit a lot of garage sales, showed you already what I got. This one sale, though, this was the sale. Bubs wants to explain the sale. <clears throat> okay, so basically, Dad went out to a garage sale. He looked at these, like, Legos, and as soon as he did, um, she, the girl was like, oh, you want some of these or something? And she came out with a big old box of them with all of this in it, like all of that. And then Dad was like, um, how much? And then she was like, um, how much do you want for it? And Dad was like, how about 40? And then she was like, how about 50? And Dad was like, all right. So that's pretty much what happened. Yeah, that's pretty much the story. She had like a plastic container that was a Lego that I, as soon as I touched it, she was like, are you interested in Legos? And I said, yes. And she brought out a box with all of this. Uh, she was actually embarrassed that she had all of these unopened. And was trying to get rid of them. So I'm guessing either her husband or her son uh, is the one that bought them. And she was tired of them just sitting around in a box. So that was the deal I made. And instead of Bubs helping me, we got Duke here. Say hi, Duke. Hi. And we also got one of the producers of the show, Sookie. Yep. And Sookie. Say Sookie. hi. Sookie. Hi. Teddy's around here somewhere. I'm sure she'll come in. Or they'll go get her. Pity's the other producer. Producer. She funds us. Don't mind the mess. This is all stuff that needs Pitty to be listed like or is listed. I'm about to clean all of this up. But anyway, yeah, we'll go over some of this. So 
first things that were in there were some of these Lego uh, books. They have minifigures with them, but these really aren't worth a ton. I have two of this exact same one. And then there's also this Lego movie one right here. These aren't worth a lot. Don't know what I'm going to do with them yet, but uh, let's get into it with the good stuff. So we'll start off with Star Wars, and I'll throw some uh, sold comps up on the screen for you guys. So Duke, go ahead and pick it up and show it to me. This, this is the money one right here. I can tell you that. Sold comps of around $99. And then we got some other Lego ones. I mean, start. they're all Legos. They're all Legos. But some Lego Star Wars ones. So like this one here. And this one here. That's the three Lego Star Wars. Then we got some Lego Cities. This is a pretty good one here. Tell um, about the, um, the Jeep. That one's worth a lot, isn't it? And then this one here is worth some pretty decent money. And Get then... The back row. This one here, this is a Lego Batman set. Uh, it's got actually Batgirl, Catwoman, and Robin. Flip it over, bud. And that was the one to point out that that was Batgirl. Yeah, I thought it was Batman, but Gage corrected me. But yeah, you see him right there. All right, and then we got a bunch of little ones. This this little Jeep right here is actually. It's, it's some decent money for such a small thing. It's one of the three-in-ones. So you can make any of these three types of vehicles. But it's good money. Box is a little beat up, but it is still new. But here, I'll kind of flash over the rest of these so that you can see them real quick. A lot of the others that he's flashing over aren't really very much. I, they're all decent. 10 to $15. Some of them are in the 20s range. And then there was also this, which this isn't Lego. This is a FOCO, uh, Carolina Gamecocks. It's their mascot that you can build out of blocks. Uh, I haven't found this exact one, but I found other ones. So I think that'll do pretty good. So yeah, that was the big score of the day. Uh, and on that 50 I spent, I will double my money just on one. And I'm thinking I'm going to make two to $300 easily on these. So that was a big score, and uh, that's going to do it for today's part. Like I said, tomorrow we are going to go out to the booth. So I'll show you guys the booth as long as, along with what else we're putting in the booth. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Thanks. All right, everybody. So it's the next day, Sunday, and we are headed out to the booth to get everything set up. And I want to show you what's going on out there. Uh, last night after I was recording, I went ahead and edited the first part of the video so I could tell you anybody that was going crazy because my truck was a mess. I have it all cleaned out now. There's no more Mountain Dew bottles or anything in it. And also last night, we had a sale, which I'll put up on the screen somewhere. But yeah, our first Lego set sold. $100 plus shipping for that Star Wars Lego set from the uh, Rebels TV show. And also last night, in our booth, we actually sold our baker's rack that we had in there, surprisingly. We had a price kind of high because we didn't want it to sell. We were using it just as shelving, but uh, the way this booth works, they want anything that you put in there to be for sale. So we had it marked at 150 uh, and it sold. Now they did give a 10% discount, which they reserved a right to in this booth, which is fine. So it actually sold for 135. They take their 10% commission and that leaves us with what's left over. And when they do sell something big like that, they have backup shelves that they can pull out and put in your booth and you know rearrange all your stuff on it so kind of want to see what's going on there unfortunately we don't have another shelving unit right now to put in there so i'm gonna have to be on the lookout for that which you know i usually find them on facebook marketplace or estate sales something like that so hopefully i'll find one here in the next week but yeah we're taking today we're taking this antique card catalog cabinet out here that i picked up at an auction thing is gorgeous and it is definitely old and so I'm really excited to show you guys that so I plan on doing a little video of us setting up our booth so yeah stay tuned for that
saw in the last clip, that was our booth all set up. I think we got some good stuff in there. A little mix of everything like you saw, so I'm not going to go over everything. But if you saw that antique catalog, that card catalog cabinet that we just put in there, that is a gorgeous piece. And I'm half tempted to keep it to myself, but I don't, I don't do that myself. So we'll sell it. And we got it marked kind of high right now, but we can always bring the price down later. I think we got it at 480. 485 and we can always bring the price down later so but anyway yeah that's our first youtube video uh like comment subscribe all that good stuff thanks for watching